Some of the stories, it seems pretty horrific, and he just seems like a straight-up rapist. He just got used to the idea that he could do this, and so he just was doing it loosey-goosey, willy-nilly, whatever. Maybe some of the women, in some cases, had some awareness of, like, oh, maybe he's going to slip me something that is going to make me feel okay with whatever, and I'm kind of okay with that. Like, maybe that's the case, but then he just kind of got into a habit of, oh, I'm just going to do that to everyone, and it just became, I, I think some of it, I think for, you know, out of the 70 women or whatever, some of it is just pure rape in that way. Oh, yeah, no, I agree, but also, on the other hand, if you knew you were going to get fucked by Cosby, wouldn't you want to be drugged, too? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at least he got they got the quaaludes or whatever, right? Because <laughs> apparently those things are really fun, and you can't get them anymore. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to remember <laughs> fucking Cosby. Well, that's you know? the problem. He sh some of them he should have drugged harder because they woke up right at the end. You know? Yeah, you, that's you really the don't worst. Want that. Yeah, that's the worst time to wake yeah, up too. You it's want like, you know. just for the worst part. Yeah, you really want the anesthesiology to be waking up. Yeah, you want it. You want a professional in there. Yeah. yeah. Can we have someone there to keep me asleep?